no love lost here. This guy has um, given me a couple of nips in the past when I've tried to take him away from his girl. Understandably, I suppose, but um, yeah. Number one, and he knows it. Okay, so today's episode of Blue Tongue TV, we're going to have a look at Australia's biggest monitor. And that is the Parenti. Here he is, this is my big male Parenti and he's um, the second biggest land lizard in the world. Second only to um, the model of the Komodo dragon that I'm sitting on here. So he really is quite a formidable beast, as you can see. And what I wanna do in the episode is show you the adults I also want to um, show you some sub-adults that I've got. There'll also be some little short video clips of um, some uh, when I was collecting eggs that the female had laid. We're then also going to have a look at some eggs that are in the incubator. And we're also going to have a look at um, uh, a couple of babies that have popped out of these eggs. So from front to back, it's a, a, a cracking little episode on parentes. Um, from babies right through to adults. You don't seem too happy about it, mate. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, so this is the adult female. Um, I picked this girl up from uh, a friend of mine called Justin, who uh, um, actually helped me build all these enclosures as well. Um, so yeah, thanks Justin for that. Um, and this girl laid eight eggs in December um, there's, there's a, a male partner down there these guys were mating in sort of uh, November and they laid eggs in December and what I did was after they'd finished mating I, I, I took this guy out um, for which he actually gave me a bit of a nip for I don't think he was very very impressed with that um, which enabled this girl to have some quiet time so that she could lay her eggs um, and often the problems associated with breeding monitors is not actually getting them to breed or to lay eggs but it's actually collecting collecting those eggs so uh, egg deposition getting the female to to have a site that she's happy with to lay her eggs in so what I did in here is um, filled this with what what is a, a, a builders deco sand so uh, very similar to what's used on speedway tracks it's sort of quite pliable it, it um, enables the animal to dig a hole but it's also has enough structure to it so that the, the tunnel that it digs doesn't collapse and um, what this female did uh, is she dug a hole over here and went sort of 300 mil underground and laid, laid the eggs um, and you'll see that on a few little shorts that are attached to this video of me um, actually excavating those eggs. So, um, yeah, there we have it. And then hopefully, um, in November again this year, these guys will start mating again and we can start the process again. Um. some white plump. Um, Is that what he said? Like 12. Okay, so there's three eggs still to hatch. 
Um, these are now at sort of the 225 day mark, so um, yeah, the incubator's been on for <laughs> coming up towards a year, so um, it's all worth it though. And as you can see, they're very close to hatching because the eggs are starting to deflate, um, which signifies that they are indeed close to breaking out of the egg. Okay, and how I incubate these is you've got a, um, a perlite medium on the bottom with sort of uh, 100 ml of water put in there, and then what, what that plastic is works as sort of a, a raised gauze so that airflow can get all around the eggs, um, and so they're not in direct contact with the medium. It just gives the eggs a chance to breathe and gives you the greatest chance of success and when you've got these guys in a, in a tub for that long you've got to make sure you, you've got every, every, every eventuality covered for them. Okay let's go and have a look at um, a hatchling. Okay so one of them is out basking and I'll um, attempt to catch him so that we can have a look. Come here little guy. And there we have it, one little hatchling parenti. Certainly for me there's nothing better than that. Having put the thought process into um, setting up the cage and uh, getting it in the right place in the yard and feeding the animals and um, going through the process, waiting for the eggs to hatch, um, even copying a bite from the male. Um, to get that as an end result certainly makes it worthwhile. Okay, so um, there we have it. We've had a run through Australia's biggest monitor and the second biggest land lizard in the world from front to back. So um, from hatching right through to adults and the breeding process. And at this point, I think we'll let this big guy get back about his daily business. Okay, mate. Oh, there you go.